The movie starts with intricate tapestry of existence. The 12-year-old protagonist, Nura, finds himself suspended in the delicate balance between two diverging worlds the fading realm of childhood and the beckoning horizon of adulthood. This phase, characterized by the ever-shifting contours of identity and comprehension, serves as the canvas upon which Nura paints his nuanced expedition through the chasm that separates innocence and experience. Perched upon the precipice of growth, he grapples with the rhythmic surges of emotion that define this intricate and transformative juncture. Nura's evolution unfolds against the backdrop of his awakening libido, an inexorable aspect of maturation that tints his interactions with an unexplored palette of emotions. The women's baths, once a haven of tranquility where he and his mother forged cherished connections, have metamorphosed into a realm forbidden to him. The canvas of his adolescent curiosity, painted with the hues of awakening desires, has led to his exclusion, casting him adrift in a sea of uncertainty. The comfort that once emanated from the company of nurturing women, who enveloped him in their care, is now shrouded by an alien divide. Yet, amidst his denied access to the domain he once knew, Nura becomes an unwitting observer to the intricate dialogues unfurling among the men of his Tunisian village. The intricacies of adulthood, the delicate brushstrokes of political discourse, and the mosaic of life's multifarious shades unfold before his gaze, tantalizingly elusive. This contrast accentuates Nur's liminal status, ensnared between the purity of his past and the anticipatory responsibilities of the future. The dissonance between his fervent desire to engage and the societal frontiers that encircle him imparts a profound depth to his inner struggle. Amidst this symphony of emotional turbulence, Nur's confidant is Sally, a figure who stands in stark defiance of the village's established norms. Sally, a political outsider, resides at the fringes of societal acceptance. His presence endows Nura with a distinct perspective, urging him to query the existing order and venture beyond the bounds of convention. Sally's companionship evolves into a gateway to uncharted territory, where rebellion and exploration intertwine in a captivating dance of exhilaration and risk. Nura's rapport with Sally encapsulates the quintessence of adolescence, a time when friendships metamorphose into chisels carving out identity and principles. Sally, as a guide to the enigmatic of youth, exposes Nura to the kaleidoscopic panorama of human connections. Together, they embark on audacious escapades that stretch boundaries, confront societal paradigms, and present glimpses of a world liberated from tradition's shackles. Ultimately, Nura's odyssey is an expedition through the bittersweet sonata of growing up. His exclusion from the women's baths and his vicarious proximity to the realm of men mold his comprehension of gender dynamics and societal anticipation. His kinship with Sally introduces him to the path of the insurgent, an alternative to the well-trodden route, while simultaneously standing as a testament to the indispensability of camaraderie during times of transformation. Nura's encounters function as a poignant reminder that the transition from childhood to adulthood is characterized by turbulence, discovery, and the crafting of alliances that mold the trajectory ahead.